Generic greetings and welcome to Mr. Prepper, today's beverages. A nice cup of green tea, very nice indeed. So Mr. Prepper is a game I featured on the channel before. Essentially it's a base building game. You have to create a bunker and you'll do so by gathering resources, recycling, exploring, trading, etc. And overall just prepare for something. As we can see, there is a big mushroom cloud in this uh, dense city area in the background there, and I'm guessing Mr. Prepper here is getting exposed to probably lethal levels of radiation. But anyway, uh, it's a game I featured on the channel before, as I said, when it was... I think it was in... I've, I've played it a couple of times when it was in like a beta state as well as the free prologue of the call, but it's a demo. And quite enjoyed it, and I always wanted to come back and do a series, because we like hunkering down in the bunker and we've done several games based on that sort of thing so I thought that's per the perfect opportunity I guess to do this this is gonna be maybe not a full complete series but that is my intention to play as always up until we've decided that uh, it will be a good time to win but I would like to get to the end of the story and this is a story focused game so there is fair warning right now that this will contain spoilers and potentially quite big ones as well as we progress on through the story the idea is to obviously go through gather resources explore and just generally play display and enjoy I'm recording this a couple of days before public release. It is out on the 18th of this month. 18th of March 21, should I say, because I have no idea when you're actually watching this. This is version 0.95H, the pre-release, so just bear that in mind. It should be feature complete and such, but there may be a couple of changes. Either way, let's go ahead and go to new game, and we will just begin in earnest. So let's go to play, and day one, and already we have an achievement, the path, <laughs> the path of Mr. Prepper. So tip, prepare yourself for the worst. Fair enough. I, like I said, have played the... I have played the demo... And I've also played, I think, like one of the battery type things. So I'm aware of how you interact, but I was still going to go through the tutorial for the benefit of perhaps yourself who've not seen the game. Obviously, if you have, then, well, it'll uh, be a little bit of a refresher, shall we say. But yeah, we have to explore, dig, gather resources. But the main thing is that we also have some government agents who are coming and checking that we're not doing this because of reasons. Anyway, do you want to play the tutorial? Yes, we do. Ever so. since the plague and the change of the government. This town has been unbearable, hmm. lifeless, filled only with boredom, propaganda, and control. Bless our president. I've tried to escape, and I've failed this time. But I'll find a way. They call me Mr. Prepper. Hmm. Don't have to change the name or born that way. But either way, this is our little town that we're in. And there's G-Man. And here we are, back at your place of residence, citizen. For an attempted escape, we have confiscated your vehicle. This is standard procedure. Obviously, you are also prohibited from buying or registering a new one, so we can't have a vehicle. The agency expresses hope that you will not attempt to leave Murkaville again. Murkaville! <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, sure. Uh, now I plan to fall back in love with this beautiful town. Yeah, fair enough. This is a commendable attitude, citizen. From today onwards, you are also on probation. I will come for a brief inspection regularly to check for any subversive actions or items. This is standard procedure. I am sure you will comply, and my visits will only be a formality. Bless the president. Bless. Yes, there's some weird things going on there. So, tutorial. This is a tutorial. Let me show you around. Thank you. So... Uh, we can navigate, I'm guessing, with yeah, W, S, and D and move around, so we'll do that. And we can also hold right-click to do that. I prefer scroll wheel in and out and then mouse. Fair enough. And we can move Mr. Prepper by left-clicking. And we can also see the house, which is... Uh, well, it's only two... <laughs> it's on two planes of existence rather than three. Double-click to run, and we can see we can run upstairs. Just take the door off the hinges as we go up there. Fair enough. <laughs> so click on any object to see what you can do with it. So I can click on the radio and... Oh, right-click and oh, turn it on. There you go. Yeah. Turn on. Tired? No. So, nap time. You are tired after your escape attempt. You deserve a nap. Let's have a bit of a nap on this bed then. Are we just going to lie with... Yeah, there's no sheets. There's no pillow. Just straight on the ground there. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> this is our time that's going... You see, uh, we're getting our health going up. 
Uh, or, or I think that's our stamina. And then, oh, there's health on there. You are hungry. Go and eat something. Let's open the refrigerator. I'm going to double click to, again, smash through that door. And then come over to here and open this. And we can see we have, oh, we have some soup. So I'm going to eat some soup. Including the can. Mmm. This is your preparedness at the top there. Alright, fine. It is your most valuable stat. I would have thought health was, but there you are. If it drops to zero, you will faint. Stay well fed and well rested to keep it high. Okay, fine. So, check your new escape plan. I'm going to right click and read. It says the ultimate plan on this one. And got some little sticky notes there. Got a picture of... I actually don't really know what that is. And some other bits there. Hmm. Anyway, goal number one is survive. That's generally the rule for uh, most people, I think. Goal number two, escape. Right, so build the bunker. Build the first room of my bunker. Let's do that. So how do we do that? It says go to building at the bottom, which we will do. And then we will construct that and then build. Okay, Mr. Prepper will then come downstairs. I like the way there's a walk without a care in the world. Yeah. And you see time speeds up as they... At least they're putting on a hard hat. Although they're standing right in the middle of this door extension, so I can't see them. Uh, and they've got this blueprint thing. And you can see this is going down slowly. And I'm also gathering these resources. So there we are. You need to craft your ladder for your bunker. First, uncover your trusty workbench. This is a trusty workbench. Which is good. I prefer the ones I can trust. So we'll inspect that. Grab the textiles. Pull that off. And then there we go. We now have... A workbench. So I'm going to craft uh, craft workbench, a prepper's best friend. So, workbench is a bit rusty. Let's see what you need to refresh it. Craft, assemble, and it's better for when it's hidden from the agency. Um, what do I need? You will need some metal for some wood. Start with buying eight units of metal. Alright, so let's just run over to our mailbox. Where we can apparently buy things directly door to door. So we'll go to trade. And it says, so it's time for some trading. Make an order, collect it in two hours. That's how it should work. That's that's better than Prime. Okay, so this is uh, Sergey, and we can see they are selling stuff. So I'm going to go for eight in total. Eight units of metal. Yep, that's good. And it's going to cost us 32 generic units of currency. So I'm going to go to trade, and there we go. And their trust goes up, and looks like I can buy the things as well. This is your mutual trust level with this neighbour. Okay. Every time you level up your trust, you will get access to more and better offers. You may also unlock more traders. This way via neighbour recommendations. So we now got the supermarket and Nancy's house, and we're obviously in the centre there. Okay. So let's close that up, and I guess we just need to wait. You can see this is slowly counting down. Oh, go to the forest and get some wood. We can see we've got some signs, which is there, here, somewhere, <laughs> over there. Yeah, let's go to the forest. So, tip, prepare yourself for the worst. Still saying that. Good tip. Okay, so we are in the forest. Ah, the smells of adventure. Very fragrant. So, we will grab the log, and are we literally going to pick up a whole log? Yeah, yeah, a whole log. Um, so, apparently, we're following the adventure game <laughs> levels of uh, the adventure game rule set. Um Monkey Island springs to mind where he's like putting rakes down his trousers and they just disappear and ladders. <laughs> Let's just grab this wood here and we need three and that is pretty much it. So go back home. Yeah. Uh, although that's into the woods so we don't want to go there. There is combat in the game. I remember fighting wolves in a in the prologue and it was not desirable shall we say. Um, fighting wolves barehanded is certainly not desirable but I think you can also make weapons and tools. I have no idea in terms of uh, build order or what we're going to build. The fun is going to be in finding out. So we're going to go to craft and you can see we have now the option for dismantling which again speeds up time which I think is uh, fairly sensible because it you know it, it does take some time to do this. It's not instantaneous which I do like but it doesn't mean you just have to sit and wait which is good. We have now got our mail so I will inspect that and your window to the world brings you good and bad news also used for trading uh -huh. take all and there we go we do have a carrying capacity I believe but anyway so let's run back and we are going to craft a workbench level 1 
That'll take quite a while. Let's you craft and disassemble items. So there's multiple levels of workbench and we've now crafted one. Excellent. And we also now need to make a ladder which we will craft. There we go. It's also getting dark and you can see our yeah, our stamina is going right down which is a bit of concern. And I'm guessing now, just place the ladder, drag and drop it. Let's open that and there we go. There's the ladder. Ladder is now in. Excellent. You need lamps for your bunker, you need glass to make them. Let's disassemble something at the workbench. Ah, there we go, we've got different glasses and such. So I'm going to take the plates. I don't know how many plates we need to take, but I'm going to get one, two, three, four. So it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like um, we're taking all of one item out. So if someone comes along and inspects, which they can do, I'm hoping that we can... Uh, Hoping we get away with things. Now, disassembling these... Oh. Is that it? Wall lamp. Craft a wall lamp. You only need one by the look of it, which is pretty good, but look at that. Very low on stamina. Place the wall lamp in the bunker, drag and drop it, like before. Fairly sensible. And we're going we're gonna to put it in the mid at the moment. I would very much like it elsewhere, but... Yeah, I would like more than one, I mean. But there we go. It's now in. And job done. And you need to sleep before 3am. What time is it? It is... Well, it's just before... Well, it's... Was it just after... No, no, just before 10. Just before 10. So we're going to go upstairs. We're going to have a sleep. Um, we're tired and it's night time. Alright. So time to call it a day and go to sleep. Let's do that. And there's day one. Fairly easy. Ah. Oh. The agent comes today. Right. So we'll have to do things like turn the plans over and hide things and put rugs over the hatch. Yeah, we'll have to do those things. While dragging a group... Oh, didn't get to read that. Shame. <laughs> anyway, the house is not ready. The agent will come soon. You need to hide or grab suspicious items. I'm going to grab this plan and head down. I'm going to place it in here. All right, there's the ultimate plan. Oh, so he's knocking on the door. So we need to open the door as the agent has arrived. I'm not going to open the door because I do need to hide this workbench. So I'm going to leg it and grab the workbench. Come on, grab the workbench. Grab that right now. Leg it back. And this will go... Oh, we can't do that. I'm going to have to move the light. Grab. Grab. Can this go down here? No, oh, please. Well, can this not move? Right, workbench. Oh, it looks like you can't have a workbench down here. Really? Okay, I'm just going to go upstairs. I'm going to cover that, and I'll answer the door. There we go. So I have grabbed these. It did say grab them. I thought I was going to place them there. I, I'm, a, I'm very much hoping that we don't get searched. <laughs> okay, so we've managed to grab... Keeping, the home, I was keeping one's home tidy and standard is beneficial for all of the citizens. So that under the previous government, we need a separate warrant for every inspection. This was detrimental to the protection, security, and well-being. All right, keeping one swab tidy standard is beneficial for all the citizens. Yes, so it looks like looking everywhere. I'm hoping that we can at least place down some of these suspicious items in the bunker. So the only thing we need to do is cover up, because having the plan up here was always a problem. Uh, let's see what we have here. No, nothing. I don't think there's, I don't think there's anything untoward. See, there's like a safe level, small red square box, safe quantity, 4 to 11. Ah, oh, so if you have more or less, it might be a problem. Anyway, um, essential items lacking none. Suspicious items is too, oh, too, barrel, too many barrels, so suspicion level has gone up. Okay, fine. Keep your house in unchanged state so the reports stay positive. Right, fine, but we might get rid of some things. That Okay, that was close. I have to be more careful. Place the workbench in the bunker. That's probably why we couldn't do it. <laughs> That is probably why the game would not let us um, place the workbench. Oh, did I just place the... <laughs> yes, I did. Right, place that back. There we go. I want to place the... Prep a plan. Doesn't matter where I place it, I guess. Place that there. Uh, place a light up there. Place this plan there. And we can place that. Right, you know what I'm going to do? Grab. We'll put the workbench closer. Can I place it there? 
No, the light. Surely the light's not causing that problem. Yeah, it is. The I think it might be, might be in the light. There we go. Light. No. Didn't even have time for breakfast. Cook and eat some food. Should maybe cook something. Let me just place this stuff back in. That can go there. Yeah, and then light. Yeah, you can place it above the workbench. I'm going to assume one of two things. Either you can upgrade the workbench, and in which case this will get larger and cover the back, or um, <laughs> it's just highly unfortunate that that's a like an oversight and you can't do it. Anyway, we're going to go cook, and what can we cook? Just adding some raw ingredients together, apply some heat. That's that's generally how yeah how, how cooking is and voila food, <laughs> cooking makes your food richer, right? So we need to make oh, look at all the stuff we can make. Remember that you will get the most out of your food if you cook it first. Roasted rat, roasted bar meat, roasted venison, snake meat. Okay, right. Well, there's a lot of stuff it's telling me, but let's start with a soup or smoothie. Soups additionally require water. You can get it from the sink. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'll receive some water. I'm going to inspect the cupboard, see what we've got. Oh, no. Can we just open it here? Uh, so, open. No. What's in these, then? Open. Open. Is there any... Well, there should be some raw vegetables in here. Yeah, we've got some carrots. So, I'll take some carrots and then cook carrot soup. It's like playing Valheim. Right. There we go. And then eat. Om nom nom. Okay. Everything in place. Time for my ultimate plan. Check your journal. Journal. I should start with checking my ultimate plan. Brilliant. Which is down here. Read. Establish a food source. Grow some plants in my bunker. Right. I need a food source. Time to kick off my underground plantation. The agent would not be happy to see that. To make your basic underground farm, you will need the following. Five times room soil can be crafted in the workbench. Five seed bags. You may find some in your home. Also, seeds can be bought in trade. Okay, craft. So, it says we can make soil. Is that right? And we needed five, I believe. So, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. And there's mail. Just arrived. Hmm. Okay. So we've crafted that. And collect five bags of seed. I'm actually going to go upstairs to see what the... What the posty wants. Let's have a check. We have a letter. A letter of beautiful flowing handwriting. Read. Dear neighbour. Do you like flowers, herbs and plants in general? Are you having trouble making friends in town? Are you tired of urban life? And Sedman and Suits visiting your home. Do you enjoy nature? If any of this is true, and I'm sure it is, please come to the forest during the day. You might meet someone friendly, the local herbalist. Okay, so we now have another objective. So go to the forest in the daytime to meet the herbalist. Right, we're going to do the self-reliant first, which is place five patches of soil in the bunker, collect five bags of seed. Um... Right. Well, the problem I have at the moment is that, well, as you can see, I need to expand. Um, I mean, I can expand like that if I really wanted to, but let's go to crafting. We'll say craft along there. And I don't know how large I need to make this. I need to make this thing, but certainly that seems to be a bit over the top. What I'm, I'm going to do that. That's going to be my my farm. I'm guessing also that we'll need another ladder going down. Ho hopefully you can stack ladders. If you can't stack ladders, that may prove concerning. <sighs> okay. Halfway through the digging, which is good. We have our oh, visibility for those on and off. And also this is going down, so I might have to stop to refresh our stamina. I think that's pretty much what we're going to have to do. Yeah, okay. Let's have a nap. Cheeky nap. We'll also need some more metal. Um, should have a nap first. So what I'm going to get metal, I might have to just buy some. 
But obviously I haven't got unlimited funds either. Good grief, that's some bloom <laughs> as the sun goes down. It's quite pretty. Uh, that should do us for now. Right, so we will have to get... Let's, ins let's open these and see what we have. There are... What's that? Money. Take all. Good. Alright, so it's probably worth looking through all of these then. There's three basic bait, it says. Nothing in there. Let's have a look through the kitchen tables. Ah, cabbage seed and carrot seeds. Whoops, take all rather than deposit. Uh, we're going to have a quick look in there. Energy drink, which is for stamina. And, oh, more carrot seeds. Take all. Right, okay. So we'll go back down. We will craft. I do want to craft another ladder. Requires three metal. What I'm going to do then is... I think I'm going to buy some metal. So, here. Ah, they're selling square boxes. But if I want... To be fair, if I wanted, I could probably... Probably just take some things apart. Like, what's that? cookies box. Safe quantities 4 to 7. But I don't know how many I have. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab one of those. And grab one of those. And I'm hoping that that'll do the job nicely. Craft. But we want to disassemble things like these plates and things. And the glasses. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. Did I just disassemble it? Oh, yeah, I almost disassembled the wrong thing. Wouldn't have mattered. I could easily craft it myself if need be. And... Oh, you get two metal off those. You should go to sleep. Okay. I just want to disassemble that and then go to sleep. There we go. And... Ah. That's, that's some weather. That's some inclement weather. It's quite good to see, though. It's really rainy, and all the trees are blustery as well. That's actually quite pretty. Oh, yeah. Give it that. Hmm. So, day three. Saving. Don't know what that ticking's all about. You craft uh, faster while your stamina and health are over 50%. Damn, I'm starving, he says. All right, let's uh, get downstairs. We will craft some carrots. Cook. Carrot soup. We need more carrots. Oh, are we... Literally out of carrots? Right, I'm going to have to take... Why as well just take all? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> put that back. Uh, put that back. And let's see what I can craft. Cook. Beet soup. Cook. And... Eat. Om nom nom. Okay, good. So, we will continue on with our crafting. We'll get a ladder. I still need more health, don't I? Yeah, I still need more health. Tell you, I'll go back upstairs. And I'm going to eat one of those tinned veg. And, ooh, that's expansion. We don't want to do that. Well, we do, but just not at this stage. Oh, okay, I'll have to put it in this corner. That's not too much of a problem. I would like them in a row, but because of how things are, it's just not going to happen. Crafting. Wall lamps. One. I think I want three for this. There you go. Craft times two. It's quite easy to use. And quite powerful. So I like that. We'll go downstairs. And we'll place lamps in here. In. Here. And in here. Well, put the middle one in first. I'm not going to be too precious on exactly where they go. As long as they're down, that's all that matters. Um, and this is our growing medium. Oops. I'll have to craft another one because I think I've accidentally removed one. And I'm just... I'm wondering... Yeah, I'll have to go back upstairs. I'm wondering if things die if you don't have them like watered and such, which is going to be... Quite concerning if uh, that happens. I've got four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight seeds. I don't think I can fit eight in, but I'm going to craft hopefully enough to m at least attempt it. 
There we go. So I've got four more to place. I might just get them all in. But then I also need water. And make sure it's wet water too. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Oh, that just fits. It's so close. So. Ah. Plant. Seeds only. Plant. Plant. Seeds only. Alright. I mean, I didn't... It says seed only. What, what, what else was expecting me to try and plant? <laughs> Alright. I'm going to plant the lot. You also need water. Um, plants need water and light to grow. Yes. You can take some water from a sink. Keep your farm well lit. More light the faster growth. Okay. So I'm going to move these lights then. I'm going to put a light below every single one. Whether or not that is the sensible decision or not, I don't know. But let's water, because I do have... No, I don't have water. I do have water on me. Grab. And if I place it there... I'm just trying to see what the lighting is. So light rating is poor if it's there. So if I grab it... Grab. Place it... Ah, you can see it... It actually automatically changes the light levels. So yeah. Ideally you want more than one in. Uh, let me just water all of these. I'll make sure they're all watered. Need water. Okay. I also need more glass. I need two, three, five more lights. We also need a sleep. Let's have a little... Let's have a sleep. Have a little nap. Cheeky nap. There we go. Mm -hmm. See the health's not going down much at all, which is excellent. That'll do us. I'm also going to open that wardrobe. It says wardrobe. I would know it's a cupboard. I'm just going to place these letters in because I don't think we need the letters. Although, the person may... Uh, inspect what are those made out of yeah the, the inspector may when they come along um, they may see that and it could be some concern let me receive some water so I've got how many items just all yeah all's better to look at textiles and metal hmm so two, four, five in total I can make. Five lights with those. So we'll craft. Disassemble all. What else can we make? Baseball bats, workbench level twos, requires metal, woods and stone. Uh, disassemble that. And then crafting. Five. Five lights. And we've got a very basic setup at the moment, obviously. Place to cr we've got crafting area. We've got this here. We've got the growing area down the bottom, which requires... Looks like a lot of water, actually. So let's go down and water them. I'll also grab the lights and put the lights pretty much similar to how we've got the others. So I'll grab. I think it's about there. I say I'm not going to be too precious on exactly where they go. As long as they're in the right place, roughly. Oh! It's a blackout. Too many things are using electricity. Ah, okay. It's your electric box. Here you can check the percentage of electricity being used. Electricity supplies provided by the government and very limited. Ah. For now, you have to turn something off to get your power back. Right. Later on, you'll be able to build your own generators to get more electricity. That's cool. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's quite, I quite like that. Um, let's grab that. So I'll place... I'm going to place it so that both plants are getting at least some light. So we're going to place it in between. Like that. So we'll use fewer lights. No, no, that's wrong. There. Let's also water these. Water, water... Food's are established. I'll check my plan again. No, I think you'll find 
You will do what I've told you to do. <laughs> Grab that. Um, for those two. I'll water these as well because you can see the... Oh, I need water. Grab. Fine. And... That should be all of those, I think. Eight plots, four lights. Divides up. Works well. I will see if I can place another light in here. Can I place it in this corner? Oh, you can place it on the side there. Oh, no. It's, try it's trying to snap, but it's not. Um, I'm going to grab that. Oh, no. That's turn. <laughs> Bless the president. You can see you turn it round. I will grab it, and I'll bring it further down like that. Just so I can place a light in here. Although that might... That's just not working out. <laughs> right, that'll have to do. Okay, so we'll close that up. Uh, we are now growing. You can see the ones on the right-hand side are all right. Oh, we need to check this, actually. Let's read, see what it says. How can I escape? Car, plane, rocket. No, that's just crazy. <laughs> make, a, make a plan. We need one inspiration. Run, Pepper, run. All right. I need something. More. I need to do some more planning. How can I escape? I need to find some inspiration. So that is in now a journal. Yeah. Haven't come up with a good escape plan yet. I need to find some inspiration to make some more planning. We also have the herbalist, which is a local herbalist, can be met in the forest, and it's saying we should go to sleep. So go to the forest in the daytime and meet the herbalist and find inspiration for your ultimate escape plan. So I think we'll probably we'll probably look and see if we can find the herbalist. Let's sleep. Yeah, we'll go into the forest and we'll see if we can see if we can do that. So I think that's a fairly good start. I think that's where we will leave it there for this episode. Next episode, we will have a look at, as I said, um, going into the forest, searching for the herbalist, as well as searching for inspiration. But you know, it might uh, the objectives might change. Overall, though, um, like I say, a pretty good start. Um, as always, if you have any suggestions, feedback, etc., to improve not just the builds, but the series in general they'll by all means uh, let me know in the comments and we will go from there oh these are growing and that's pretty good although some of them need water i think we'll water these before we leave either way we will leave it there next episode we will go to the forest and have a little bit of a look around and oh we also have mail so we'll check that as well either way i hope you have enjoyed the episode and for what it is the series as far comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings